cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel So today we have the long awaited, I say long awaited, people probably don't even care um, I, We have the awaited toddler Christmas gift guide for 2021 um, So if you are new to my channel, I am mum to a 16 month, nearly 17 month baby boy called Joel. He's not a baby boy anymore. I don't even know why I still call him that. Um, and I'm also nearly 15 weeks pregnant with baby number two. Hence the comfy loungewear because, you know, these sweatpants are the only thing that fits me right now. Um, so if you've got a baby or child that's like younger than Joel, I did actually do one of these videos last Christmas. Um, I think I aimed it at like... I can't even remember now, it was so long ago, maybe like three to six month olds. Um, so if you're interested in watching that, I will link it in the description box down below for you guys. Um, it's a little bit cringe, I was quite new to YouTube at the time, so <laughs> don't judge. Um, but today, this video is a very exciting collaboration with the very well-known family toy brand called Jacks of London. I am so excited to be working with them. They very kindly reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a Christmas collaboration with them and of course I said yes. So this video is going to be featuring everything on this side that we have bought for Joel ourselves and then there's a couple of absolutely gorgeous bits that I have chosen for him from Jacks of London's website which I will be talking you through in a second and actually most of these items are things that I was going to buy him anyway so I wouldn't collaborate with someone unless it's something that I would have used or bought myself and um, so yeah really really excited to show you guys that in a second and actually i was already sort of browsing their website on and off um looking at christmas ideas when they reached out to me so yeah like i said they're things that i was going to buy for him anyway so it's just an added bonus that i get to work with them um on this video so i think i will start with the things from jacks of london first and show you what we picked up for him um so like i said this is probably going to be aimed at it's really difficult to say like a toddler Christmas gift guide because toddlers are at like such different like development stages. I'm probably going to do it for like 12 to 24 month olds. That's what I feel is best for this kind of like age range of stuff that we've got. Um, so yeah, I will start with the Jacks of London stuff first, go through that collaboration and then I will show you the stuff that we have bought for him separately ourselves. So as you can see, a lot of their toys come in this absolutely beautiful packaging, which is perfect if you're giving it to someone as a gift. Um, so I'm going to open this up. I really don't want to ruin it, but obviously I really want to show you guys what is inside. Um, so I'm just going to have to kind of undo it gently and try and get this back on as best I can before we give it to Joel at Christmas. I mean, not that he's even going to care about the packaging, but I do. So <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. Um, Okay, oh, this is cute. So there's a little note in it that says hand wrapped for you by and then whoever's wrapped it that day. And then, oh, okay, that's just like contact details. So in this one, we have picked him up. I think this was going to go like more in his stocking because it's a smaller present. Um, so it's this gorgeous wooden seesaw. So Jacks of London do the most beautiful wooden toys. Obviously, they're a lot better for the environment. I can't personally stand plastic toys. He does have them because they're very bright and colourful and we got given a lot of plastic toys when he was born, just like hand-me-downs and stuff like that. But the things I bought for him myself are nine times out of 10, they've been wooden toys because I just think they look nicer. And like I said, they're better for the environment. So everything that comes, I haven't actually shown you before I've started taking it out. I'm just so excited. Um, everything that comes with this wooden seesaw is in this little pouch so it's really handy for like taking away with you it's quite a portable toy um being out and about things like that so it comes with these beautiful colorful wooden animals and it's basically a balancing seesaw so it's basically a little like balance toy for your toddler um which is really good for their development skills and i'm not sure if i can do that one um, but yeah, there's loads of little bits and bobs for them to try and balance on there. And obviously it's going to be rocking back and forwards. Um, so yeah, it's a really fun little game for them to do. Lovely, bright and colourful, which I know Joel loves. And yeah, I just thought that was a really cute little toy to pop in his stocking. So I will link all of the 
Jacks of London toys in the description box down below if you want to buy any of these for your baby or toddler. Definitely head over and check out their website. They've also got a section on their website where you can select like the age range of your child and shop that way, which makes it a lot easier if you're not really sure what to get them for their age. Um, so I actually found that really helpful when I was shopping for Joel. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a slightly larger box. This is gonna be one of his main presents um, that we got for him. So, I'm not sure how to get into this. I feel like it's all gonna fall out. Oh my gosh. I've got no nails either, which does not help. Okay, so again, I love this. It's like it's like it's come from Santa's workshop from the like the little Christmas elves. There's another little note in there saying hand wrapped for you by, and then obviously the person who's done it, which I love. Like I said, it just reminds me of like it's come from Santa's workshop, which I think is really really cute. So this needs to all be put together. This is actually a wooden construction bench. I'm going to see if there's a picture. Yes, there is. So this is what it's going to look like when it's all put together. We were looking for one of these for Joel. And I was actually looking at the ones that were sort of like pastel colours. Um, but then I saw this one on Jacks of London. Um, and I actually prefer this because there's more like little bits and bobs with it that he would prefer. And I think this one was £18.99. But I will pop all of the prices with the links in the box down below. But it comes with all of these little bits, like a little screwdriver, um, little tools, little nails, things like that. And I know that he's going to be obsessed with like popping these in the little slots. And yeah, there's a little hammer with it as well. And I just think this is adorable for a child of his age. It's also something that's going to grow with him as well. So I think this will last him for like quite a good few years. And yeah, it's a proper little boy's toy. Now, the next thing that I chose from their website was this beautiful wooden biscuit tin. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would have noticed that I was doing a giveaway um, in collaboration with Jacks of London last week. Um, and the winner won one of these biscuit tins. Um, but they've also sent me one for myself and Joel as well. So one of the things I would also suggest for toddlers of this age for um, like a big Christmas present, like a main present, is a wooden play kitchen. The reason that we haven't got Joel one for Christmas is because he got one literally at the beginning of September when we did his playroom. I thought about waiting till Christmas, but I wanted that as like kind of the centerpiece of the playroom. So it wasn't really done till we had that. Um, so that's why we bought it early, but we went for the Ikea Play Kitchen, which again, I will link down below and I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. He is obsessed. It's the best thing we've ever bought for him. It's the thing that gets definitely gets played with the most. And yeah, he, he just loves it so much. And we've also got loads of little accessories and add-ons from Audi for him um, in their little wooden toy section. So if you follow me on Instagram, I think I've linked to like a lot of them in my stories and added them to a highlight on my page. So definitely head over and check that out as well. Um, but this, when I saw it, I thought this was like the perfect little add on for his kitchen because I'm always looking to sort of like add to it. And like, let's start that again. I'm always looking to add to it and get him like little different accessories to go with it and just sort of build it up over time. So I've actually just managed to hit most of these biscuits everywhere. I'm going to pop them back in the box so it looks nice and presentable when I show you. Um, but oh my gosh, this is literally the cutest thing ever. So when you take the lid off, it's just this little set of all of the classic biscuits inside. And my favourite one is the little gingerbread man. I mean, that's just so adorable. Um, you've got like the chocolate cream. They are so realistic. You've got the pink wafer and I just literally love this so much. Um, there's a custard, I think that's a custard cream in there as well. I'm just obsessed guys. He's going to love this and the little tin, he can keep all of them in the little tin. I'm probably going to get him like a little tea set to go with this as well. Um, but I just thought that was a really, really nice present to go with his toy kitchen. And then the last thing I picked up in this collaboration is this wooden fishing game. So I saw this and just thought it would be great for his little, um, I'm trying to think what skills this would develop. I think it's fine motor. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not good with stuff like that. Um, but it's a wooden fishing game and it's got all of these little fish in there. So it's magnetic. I can't really show you properly because I need to spend some time because these are all tied together. I need to spend some time sort of 
unraveling those but you obviously get a fishing rod and just he has to reach in and hook the little magnet on the fish and pull it out and I actually think that's great for a child of his age I'm pretty sure it was in his age range section it might have been the one above but he would definitely play with this now and then obviously it will last him for like years and years as well it's a great game to play and obviously you can have four players at a time which is perfect so it's a nice little family game that you can do with them as well you can all have a go together and I just think he's going to love this and it comes in this gorgeous little box as well so that is everything that I have picked up in collaboration with Jacks of London like I said I will link everything in the description box down below but now we are going to move on to the stuff that we have personally bought for him so I think I will start with stocking fillers first then his Christmas Eve box then his main presents to be honest guys, we have not gone overboard at all. Like I said, he had his playroom done back in September. So he had his wooden toy kitchen and he had a lot of stuff when we did that playroom. He gets so much throughout the year. Like I'm always buying him new clothes. Every time we go shopping, I can't resist buying him something, um, which sounds awful, but just, you know, like clothes and stuff that he needs. We also do like two baby classes a week. I take him swimming most weeks. So he gets a lot spent on him throughout the year. And I just think we've kind of been focusing more on Christmas experiences this year so we booked to go to the Christmas lights at King, um, a National Trust place near us we are going to go and um, see Santa twice so because we missed out last year because of Covid and we're just focusing on sort of making memories as a family instead which is what he will remember when he gets older rather than what he got for Christmas and obviously he's still too young to understand really so I just don't see the point in going massively overboard and also who wants their house full of clutter so yeah we have stuck to the rule that I have seen quite a few people share on Instagram and we we didn't do it for his first birthday and I think I will do it going forward because it's such a good rule to stick by so it's something they want something they need something to wear and something to read I've heard people do something to eat as well um but I think at his age it's just better to like give him something to read rather than like a ton of chocolate so yeah that's what we stuck by for his main presents and, and he has been obviously very lucky and been given these things as well um but like i said we are sticking by this rule for the things that we have personally bought for him and i know that family are going to spoil him as well so he's going to end up getting so much from them and yeah that's why we're just not going mental with it so anyway stocking fillers first so like I said, check out my stocking filler video, my Christmas gift guide video from last year, because in his stocking was like loads of sensory stuff, like flashing balls, things like that for like younger babies. But this year we're going a little bit more grown up because he's a little boy now. Um, so the first thing that I've picked up for him is a cup that I've seen a lot of his baby friends have. So whenever we're out and about on Mondays, which is like probably about twice a week, all of the babies seem to love this cup and he keeps trying to steal his friend's cup so I thought I would buy him one so we are currently using a Tommy Tippy like the sippy cup beaker thing and we also use the Munchkin 360 cup um, so I thought I would pick him up one of these free flow straw cups so this was from eBay I will link it down below everything I'm gonna list I will link down below um, I think this was 6 99 or £6.50 so it's cheaper than the I think they're called the Tum Yums Cups and that's what a lot of his friends seem to have but I think they're about 9 99 and then I saw this on eBay and it was just a little bit cheaper so it's also in this gorgeous pastel blue colour. Is it pastel blue? It's kind of like a Scandi blue. They also did a sage green and a like a blush pink colour as well um, but yeah you just flip it up and the straw comes up and he doesn't need to suck or anything because it's literally just a free flow cup and it's got a little, I can't actually for the life of me work out what this is. It's got some sort of animal on there and I literally have no idea what that is. And then you just flip the lid down and the straw goes away. So yeah, a super handy little cup for his stocking and I know he's going to love this. So then I picked him up because he's in desperate need of some new bath toys. He's kind of got like a load of bath squirters, some little boats and bath books. But I feel like everything's getting a little bit boring for him now. He's had the same bath toys for like a year. Um, so I picked him up a couple of new bath toys. So the one that's going to go in his stocking is these bath crayons. Um, there's six in each pack. They actually came as a two pack. And I think these were something really, really cheap, like $1.99 off Amazon or something like that. So 
he can basically just scribble on the bath or the tiles and they were literally wiped straight off afterwards. So I thought he would love doing that while he's in the bath. And then this is the thing that I'm probably the most excited about. I remember sharing it on Instagram or seeing someone share it on Instagram and everyone just went mental for it. So I obviously went on the link that I saw someone share and had to order one for myself. These were actually in Matalan that they have completely sold out now, but I will see if I can find them anywhere else for you. Um, but it's this Costa Coffee Baby Chino set. So he has just sort of started having, usually on a Sunday now, the weather's getting cold. He's just started having a little hot chocolate in his 360 cup, which he loves so much. Um, so I got him this baby Chino set. It's the tiny little plastic cup and then it's got the little marshmallows. And I think there's a sachet of, yeah, there's hot chocolate sachet with it as well. How cute is that, guys? I can't even cope. This was eight pounds. A little bit pricey for a stocking filler, I think, but it's still under the £10 mark and I just think he's going to look so grown up in this. We've got a little cup holder on our pram so he can like pop it in there and oh my gosh, I can't even cope. He's getting so big. Um, I'm also going to get him some new socks, probably from Zara, like the Varsity socks with the stripes around the top. He's already got a pair, but I've seen some other cute pairs on there that I'm probably going to get him just to add into his stocking. And then I'm also going to pop like some chocolate buttons and maybe like another sweet treat in there for him because now he's that little bit older. I don't mind him having like chocolate as a little treat now and then. Um, and also we've obviously got the um, wooden seesaw like animal balancing toy from Jacks of London that I'm also going to pop in his stocking for him as well. And then that should be him done to be honest. He doesn't need like loads and loads and loads in his stocking. Like I said, he's got so many toys already. So I think they are like the perfect little stocking fillers. But another idea if you just want something handy to like bulk out the stocking is like last year we put like child's farm bath products in there for him and you know just handy things that we're gonna use and yeah things that he needs he'll still enjoy unwrapping them because it's all about more about the experience for them but it's not necessarily like an extra toy that they're gonna play with for two minutes and then kind of like chuck to one side then here's christmas eve box i will actually do his christmas eve box next i think because yeah, I'm not really sure. There's one thing I've got here that I did have in mind for his Christmas Eve box because then he can play with it like the night before Christmas rather than waiting till Christmas Day. So I think I am probably going to put this in his Christmas Eve box, but this was a contender, just something extra to add into his stocking as well. So it's this wooden stacking Christmas tree. They actually had a snowman and a Santa Claus as well, but I went for the Christmas tree just because I thought it looked the nicest. And he is obsessed with things like this. He's got a couple of similar toys, but yeah, everything comes off and then they can just obviously like thread it back on. This was, I think this was about five pounds. I got this from our local garden center where my mum works. And obviously if you don't live locally, like I know you're probably thinking, how am I gonna get hold of one? I did have a look and I've seen these on, not on the high street as well. There are a couple of pounds more. But that's because they come with a little pouch, which I think is personalised with their name on. So how cute is this? You can get this out every Christmas. It can go in their Christmas Eve box every year. And it's just a lovely little toy for them to play with um, on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And it's obviously themed as well, so it's perfect. So yeah, I think he's absolutely going to love that. Um, so then I put a Christmas book in his Christmas Eve box last year. I think he's got That's Not My Snowman. And the night before Christmas, we got him as well, just because... It's his, it was his first Christmas last year and I wanted it for his Christmas book collection. So obviously both of those books will be coming out again this year. I'm going to get them out of the loft on um, Saturday when we get all of our Christmas decorations down. I'm so excited to get them up. Um, so yeah, he's going to have those books to read like throughout the whole of December. But I'm going to put this one in his Christmas Eve box. We got this new this year. And if you know the classic Dear Zoo book, which he's obsessed with, Sorry, my neighbour's just getting home, I'm being nosy. Um, you will know the author, Rod Campbell. He's also done this Dear Santa book. So I think it's, an, yeah, it's another Lift the Flat book. They're quite tiny, but there's like loads of little gifts that he can open in there, which I thought was quite cute. Do you know what? I'm not even going to do this the whole way through because I've got no nails <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah. This is gonna go in his Christmas Eve box. Then I'm obviously gonna pop in, um, like last year he had a personalized letter from Santa for his first Christmas, so that's going in his memory box. But I think this year I'm gonna get him Santa's Magic Key off Etsy with a little personalized label. And obviously that can just come out every year and go in there. Um, 
I'm also very kindly being gifted a few bits and bobs from a small business over on Instagram. I would tag her down below. Um, I've done a few like purchases from her before and her items are lovely. So she's actually very kindly gifting me some personalized stickers for his stocking presents with like little gingerbread men on, they're very cute, um, and his name on. And then she's gifting me um, some snowman poo and some reindeer food. So snowman poo, I think it's like little marshmallows and reindeer food. Not sure exactly what it is. We'll find out when it gets here. I think it's arriving like next week. Um, but they're gonna go in his Christmas Eve box as well, just to kind of start like, I know he's a bit young, but it just starts the traditions early. Obviously I drew the line last year. I just thought he's five months old, it's ridiculous. But this year he does understand like a little bit more. So yeah, I just think it'll be nice. So they are going in his Christmas Eve box as well. And like with his stocking, I think I'm just gonna pop some chocolate buttons in there or something like that that he can have on Christmas Eve when we're snuggled up watching a Christmas film before bed. Um, he also has like a little squishy snowman soft toy that I put in there last year. So I'll be getting that out of the loft with the Christmas decorations again, and that will be going in there. And then the last thing that I'm putting in there was very kindly gifted to us from Cookie Dough Kids over on Instagram. We um, have been brand ambassadors for them for, I think Joel was about six months old when we started working with them. Um, but she's given him some lovely, lovely personalized clothes. So she gave us these Christmas pajamas and I thought, I mean, he's got so much stuff in his Christmas wardrobe this year, the same as last year. Um, but I think these are the most appropriate for Christmas Eve. So yeah, I bought him a lot of stuff, but nothing that's quite Christmas Eve-y. So yeah, these were perfect. So this is the top and it says, Joel, when I wake up, it will be Christmas. And I am obsessed. I don't know if you guys have seen, but a lot of people are doing the red and white stripe candy cane theme for like their decorations this year. And I so nearly did it, but I just think, my house is so white and grey. I just I think I'd be scared to have it in my lounge. Um, maybe when he's a bit older, we'll do it. But yeah, I just love the red and white stripes. I think they're gorgeous and they are the bottoms. So yeah, they are like literally the perfect little pair of Christmas pajamas. She's also given him another pair, which are the same bottoms and the top says little elf Joel on them. And it's got a little green and red little elf hat. Um, so I will tag her Instagram page down below. I've also got a 10% discount code, so I will pop that down below for you guys as well if you wanted to order any of these little Christmas jammies for them. They are literally so, so cute. So then lastly, I forgot to mention actually, he does already have a Christmas Eve box. I would show you, but it's still up in the loft, so we're getting it down this weekend. But it's a little wooden personalised Christmas Eve box that we got for him last year. And obviously it will grow with him throughout the years as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you the four things, like the main presents that we've got for him. So like I said, we're going by the rule um, that I said about. And we have actually got one extra thing as well, which I'll show you at the end, because it was a bit of a last minute extra purchase, but he does need it. So I've kind of got him like two things that he needs. Um, so the first thing I've got him is the something he wants. So I mean don't know if he wants this, he's too young to tell me, but I can imagine he would want this. So we have gone for the Melissa and Doug Chunky Threading Beads. So these are amazing for developing their fine motor skills and they come in this lovely little wooden box for like storage and there's some big sort of lace laces, threads in there. Um, and then these huge chunky colorful beads so he can practice his threading. And like I said, with the, like with the Christmas tree, he loves threading stuff and stacking things. So I know that he will absolutely love this. I think these were about 9 99 and I got these from Amazon. So I will pop the link down below for you guys. But this is going to be the something he wants. Then the first thing for the something he needs, as I mentioned when I showed you the bath crayons in his stocking, he needs more bath toys. So we have got him a set of um, colourful buckets for the bath. I like them because they're not too offensive, but they're still nice and colourful. I feel like they're more sort of like pastel -y colours. Maybe not the orange one, but yeah, I quite like the shades. Um, they're the Ocean Stack and Pour bath buckets. So they've all got like different size holes in the bottom so he can fill them up and the water will come out. And I know he's absolutely gonna love stuff like that. There's actually a picture on the back. Um, and we can also use these in his paddling pool in the summer as well, which will be really, really good. Um, I can't remember how much we paid for these, but again, I think these were either from Amazon or eBay. So I will pop the link 
down below for you guys. Um, we are also getting an extra bath toy to kind of go with this, um, but it hasn't arrived yet. It was from Amazon. I'll link it down below, but it's like a, um, like fake taps, like waterwork pipes that stick onto the side of the bath. So it's like a whole load of pipes and he can turn different dials and like there's a sprinkler, there's a water wheel. And I just know he's gonna love that as well. It was the newbie one and it's 11.99 from Amazon. So if you wanna head over and take a look, we are also getting that for him as well. Then the last thing that we picked him up for the something that he needs. Now, I could argue that he doesn't really need this, but I actually think it's gonna be a lifesaver. Um, so we went abroad to the south of France, which is our second home. So my dad and my stepmom live out there. Um, so it's kind of like our family place abroad that we go to most years. And we went out there with Joel for our first holiday abroad with him in August. It was only an hour and a half flight and he slept for a lot of it. But just literally for that 20 minutes, half an hour that he was awake for the flight, um, it was stressful. <laughs> um, and we were going to take our, like an iPad, like one of our iPads to, um, for him to use, but we didn't in the end, we didn't end up downloading anything onto it in time. And yeah, I just saw it would get knocked around and he dropped stuff and he's going through a phase of like throwing stuff as well. So I wasn't really keen on doing that to be honest um so i said before we go abroad again um i'm gonna sort something out and get something like that but like a kids friendly version of it for the plane um so we are actually booked to go we were meant to be going to greece in may but we've had to cancel it because i found out that i was pregnant again um and the holiday is actually it was booked for like two weeks after my due date um, so we've now swapped to go to Tenerife at the end of January, which we're so excited about, um, get a bit of winter sun. Um, so I thought, right, that's a four hour flight. Um, we're definitely going to need something to entertain him because I can imagine if he sleeps, it will only be for like an hour. And then we've got to entertain a toddler on a plane for three hours, which is going to be, yeah, really fun. Um, so we have picked up, I actually saw this in, I'm not sure if it was like the Black Friday sale. I'm just gonna peel this code off because I don't need this anymore. I went and picked this up from, okay, that's just ruined it. I went and picked this up from Argos earlier today. And I don't know if it was a Black Friday sale or whether they just had like a general sale on, but this was literally half price. Um, so it's normally 99.99 um, and it's down to 49.99. I just thought for that price, for something that he's not gonna, well, he probably won't use it all the time, not at this age anyway. I just don't, I don't like him to have like too much screen time. Obviously he has screen time every day if I need to get stuff done, but usually just like half an hour to an hour per day. But yeah, this will mainly be for like holidays or if we're eating out, like having lunch out with him. Um, it will save me having to get my phone out and put YouTube on my phone for him when he gets bored in his high chair. So this is the Amazon, fire kids tablet and it comes with a purple case a blue case or a pink case so obviously we've gone for the blue for joel um and it's a kids friendly case so obviously it can get knocked around bashed around which he probably will do and yeah it's meant to just be protected from any damage due to the usual kind of throwing and bashing around that kids like to do with stuff like this um it also comes with a two-year guarantee so if it breaks in the first two years then they'll just like repair or replace it for you and it comes with a year's worth of amazon kids as well so you can download like loads of stuff onto here um it's got loads of programs on there already so like there's bing there's cbb's peppa pig um all of his like favorites that he likes to watch are on here so when we go away we don't need to worry about getting all of that on there beforehand that is so so handy and there's also up to seven hours of battery life so hopefully on a four hour flight with the airport time on top of that as well this will last fingers crossed um yeah we'll see how good the seven hour battery life is when we go away at the end of january but yeah i just thought we weren't going to get anything else for him for christmas but when i saw this in the sale it was too good to turn down and i can't justify buying him a 50 pound toy um, this close to Christmas without giving it to him as part of his Christmas present. So yeah, that is going in with his Christmas presents with the something that he needs. So then the something to wear, obviously because it's a Christmas present, it has to be a bit special. I mean, I buy him Zara stuff throughout the year anyway, because I'm just obsessed with their clothes. 
but obviously it's a bit more pricey compared to like Primark and Matalan, um, which I love equally as much. But, you know, I just wanted to treat him because it's Christmas and I've had my eye on this particular hoodie for so long. So I haven't actually had this out yet, I don't think. But it's the, if, I mean, if you're on Instagram, you, you would have seen this. It's just the famous hoodie of like autumn winter this year for toddlers. Um, but it's the New York Bears hoodie. I'm not sure whether this is sold out now. It kept selling out and then coming back in stock, but this was $15.99 and it's the typical Zara like oversized fit and their hoodies just, they just fit different to other stores. I just love them so much. They are the perfect oversized hoodie and I just wish they did this in my size as well because I just love it so much. I just can't wait to see him in this. There's so many times where I'm like, where I've been like, oh, I just want to put him in this now because all of the kids are wearing them at the moment and I literally just want to put him in this now, but no, we're going to wait till Christmas because otherwise I will have to buy him something else to wear and it's just going to get ridiculous. So yeah, that is his something to wear. And then lastly, but by no means least, because he is such a little bookworm and this will probably be his favourite present of all of them, um, is his something to read. So he is obsessed with these books. We got his first book from this range for his first birthday from one of my friends. So this was back at the beginning of July. Um, and it's called Peekaboo Sun. And I think that was the first book in this range. Um, I'd highly, highly recommend it. It's such a great book. It's basically the same as this, um, but obviously with like different pictures and stuff like that. So I have got him another book in that range called Peekaboo Apple. And they are absolutely brilliant. They've got all of these little like pop-up bits and like there's a little bit there. There's bits that pull out. And he is just obsessed with these books there's a butterfly on that side they're so bright they're so colorful there's bits that pop up out the top as well and these are just absolutely brilliant books for um babies and toddlers of this sort of age group so this actually says 7.99 on the back i'm pretty sure i only paid like six pounds i think it was from amazon again but yeah i'll try and find the link and pop it down below for you but yeah any of these books are an absolute winner and i think i'm actually going to buy um a copy of peekaboo sun for his baby cousin who's currently only five weeks old but um she can have it for when she's kind of like the six month plus mark so i think i'm going to get peekaboo sun to add to her christmas presents that we've got for her just because it's been such a hit with joel so yeah if you want a couple of books for your baby i'd get this one with peekaboo sun as well because yeah they're just it's honestly his favourite go-to book. If I say to him, choose a book for bedtime, nine times out of 10, he will pick this one out. So guys, that is everything that we have got for our 16 month old toddler for Christmas this year. I hope that rule will be helpful with some of you. If you're struggling with what to get and you don't want to spend too much, I would definitely go buy the something they want, something they need, something to wear and something to read. Plus like obviously like stocking fillers and other bits as well, but it just saves you from going overboard. And I honestly think that will be the rule that we'll be following for birthdays and Christmas from now on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and do stay tuned because at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of pregnancy content, day in the life vlogs, things like that. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Mwah. Tomorrow it is Christmas.